What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 54540 Gang Gang getting a bit of back with another banger. Look, I'm working on my Tahoe again. Y'all know I stay working on my Tahoe. I just installed the new Rhino push bar, push bumper. Um, it's a video that's gonna be right before this one. Um, actually, right after this one, after this is uploaded. After you see this, it's a video that's right after this one. Um, you'll see the Go Rhino push bar. So I'm installing the HID um, light bar on my push bar to give it that real off-road look. Um, Y'all know my Tahoe is flat black, 5% tint all around. Um, everything's just blacked out. So um, also too, check out my mesh grill install. That's the video right uh, after the push bar video. All right. So I'm going to be right back after the intro. Let's get it. LeBron James, LeBron James. What's good, everybody? Know what it is. Oh, I'm in London. I'm I ain't trying to die. Just more questions you have to ask me. Still ten toes down the road, Felicia. He ran out on a nigga that's a shot, a shot, a cold hearted go with the block, a block out. Gotta keep it on me, I wanna die young. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6 I'ma go post bail, just look at my wrist Tell me why the legends always gotta die quick When I'm in traffic, gotta slide with the beam on me Cause I keep my tear and busting out Alright, what's good, gang? So let's see what we got I already opened this up, which is this, the wire harness Um, I didn't want to use the original wire harness I got something a little more heavy duty Um, with the relay and the fuses and all that already, um in place with the switch also so um but let's check out this light bar i got it from amazon i did get this light bar used new and used i think it was um i didn't pay too much for it i will put the link in the description of my wire harness and the light bar so everything's supposed to be in here um hopefully but we will see. All right, yeah, so all the screws and everything is, screws are running away. But all the screws and everything is here, so uh, let's check out the light bar. Being that sometimes I do order used items off of Amazon because they really just be in new condition. And I can even see with this one, this is like brand new condition. Like never installed the plastic still on it. So let's put it up against my Rhino bar. Right, so here's my Rhino bar. Again, if you haven't checked out my installation of the Rhino bar, make sure you go in my videos it's gonna be the video right after this one. Um, so. That looks cool. I think I could have probably went with a little longer bar, but I think this will pretty much be good to go. All right, the first thing we wanna do is unloose our positive and negative. Um, 10 millimeter screw. This is a 10 millimeter with a ratchet. All right, so with our um, instructions here, what we have to do now is connect this line, the positive and the negative of the wire harness to the battery, negative or positive. And as you see that the switch is already connected and we have two lines leaving out of the relay going to the lights, but it's four connections. So we're only gonna use two of those connections. All right, so let's get to our fuse and relay.
light bar on um the con actually the wire horn is connected and everything um we haven't mounted the relay just yet we got to find a position somewhere to mount the relay um but we did connect the light bar remember i said before we have four wires um that's coming out from this harness but we're only going to use two so i took the red the positive went to positive the black went to the negative which is the ground um our light switch here there's no light on indicating that there's no power going through. But if you hit the on switch, the uh, indicator light will come on and that means power is going through. Um, let's make sure that um, with these here, the extra ones that we pull the plastic up and we're gonna tape around these just to make sure that you know the positive doesn't touch the body of the car or um, these two doesn't touch at all, all right? So let's go to the on switch. So we see the light bar does work. All right, so let's get to wrap on these wires and then our next task will be installing it on the rhino bar. And I, all right, so we are, I'm gonna go ahead and take these up so I don't forget um, because we won't be using these. Actually, we can use those. We're gonna take this one up. All right, now let's find a, um, I'm gonna take this up because we have to feed this through the wall. So we don't want that positive touching. Even though um, we do our off switches off, still just to be cautious. All right, so let's figure out what we're gonna do. Um, I know for sure I wanna go behind this, this way here and possibly just go straight through there. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way. All right, I know how to do it. So let's go ahead and tap this under here. So all the wires are out of the way. You wanna try to make everything as clean as possible. All right, so I got the wire kind of going that way. So I'm gonna stick my hand through here, through the front of my new grill. And again, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go to my videos. Um, it's the new mesh grill for the Tahoe. All right, so I'm gonna stick my hand through here and try to grab it. The light bar, I don't have it tapped down, but I am gonna go ahead and feed this line. I'm gonna feed it through the grill. And pull it up. So matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull it all the way up. Just so we can get the wires and everything connected. All right, so we got our wires um, cut. Uh, we're going to take some of these. This is probably the safest way to do it uh, within this package with the lights. I got some extra fuses and I got these boys here. Most people would just solder those wires together. I'm not doing that only because I don't have to. Um, so I slid the wire in. I'm going to take these pliers and I'm going to kind of pinch this part to make it stay. All right, so 
so it's a good connection there. I'm gonna do the same for the positive wire. And I am still gonna tape um, over this wire just to be sure that, you know, we don't want this to be the cause of any fires or anything or any electrical issues. All right. So with this, we're gonna connect our negative to the negative, of course. Try to pinch that again some more. So let's connect our negative to the negative. All right, so that's done. Now let's connect our positive to the positive. All right, so let's test our light bar um, just to make sure that it is still functioning here. So. Let's test our light bar. Yep. So we are good to go. All right, everybody, so I'm back. I did put the brackets on the light bar. Um, reason being is that I'm gonna have to drill some holes inside a rhino um, this little bar here to make the holes fit because there are holes here and here but as you see my bar doesn't stretch out that far um, so I'm gonna have to make my own holes I'm um, pretty much I'm lining up this little middle bar which is lined up with this middle uh, nut here with this and then that way I'll be able to see um, how I need to drill my hose. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark up the hose and we'll start drilling. pretty much what I did here's where the hose were purpose of the hose so I'm gonna grab the nut put the nut on the bottom and these are 14 millimeters and the nut 14 so I'm gonna take some grip pliers I'm gonna probably do the ratchet from the top hold it from the back with the grip pliers
All right, everybody, this is the finished product. Um, the light bar installed, as you see, it's not going nowhere. Let's get the light on. Cool. Right, everybody, so I am back. I ran the wires, kind of made an extension of my toggle switch so I could be able to get it in here. Um, I think the best spot seems to be like right here. That way I can access the wires and get the wires to run on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drill a hole because this right here has to be here like that. So I'm gonna drill a hole using my drill. I did have a, um, a bit with a saw thing on the end, but I don't know what it is. So I'm not gonna really worry about this. Anymore. Alright, 540 game. Thank y'all for watching the video. I got my light bar installed on my on Rhino, Go Rhino bar. I will have the link in the description where I got this from. I think I only paid like maybe $26, $23 for it. Um, I did get it used, um, but you see it's in brand new condition. So thank y'all for tuning in. Peace.